and welcome to the Gartner Customer 360 Summit in Los Angeles. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media, and I'm joined today by Benjamin Castro, who's the CRM manager for Banco de Credito of Peru, which won the Gartner One to One Media Silver Excellence Award for Integrated Marketing. Also joining us today is Barris Da Vinci, who is Senior Director of Professional Services for the Americas for Infor. And today we'll be talking about the successes that uh, BCP has achieved and how they've gone about um, achieving these successes in integrated marketing. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having us. So, Benjamin, can you give us a little background on BCP itself and, and what led to uh, the bank's integrated marketing efforts? Uh, sure. Uh, well, BCP, first of all, is a bank. It's Peru's largest bank. We have around we have around three million customers and 300 branches. To give you an idea of the size of our bank, um, Peru is a fast-growing economy. We are growing at a eight percent GDP rate, approx. Uh, and the financial services industry is growing a lot. So for us as a bank, it's very important uh, to be excellent in acquisition, in client acquisition. Mm. Given that, we identified that there was a huge opportunity of integrating all our marketing efforts, and that's how this uh, uh, project started. Okay, great. So, uh, Barris, in, in Infor's engagement with BCP, what were some of the uh, elements or, or business drivers that you saw that the bank was trying to accomplish? Yeah, absolutely. We are in business with uh, BCP since 2008. Uh, BCP has the entire marketing and the CRM package that Info offers. Um, when we started, and as part of the part of our you know engagement methodology as well as our successes with BCP, we started in phases. We started with the campaign management portion of the uh, CRM uh, implementation first, and then added the other packages later on. But um, I would I would say that everything just came at the right time and the right moment uh, with respect to what BCP wanted to achieve in terms of where they want to take their business to and what we could offer to help them okay. in the past three years. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, great. So, uh, Benjamin, can you talk to us a little bit about steps that you've taken at BCP to make sure efforts are, in fact, uh, catering to, say, high-value uh, customers and, uh, and so forth? Right, of course. Great question. Um, well, actually, the whole idea of the project was to find the next best activity for each customer. Right, and uh, in order to do that, we work on a series of work streams. Uh, but basically, what we do there is first we develop a number of statistical models, and they help us to prioritize what to say to the client. That way, we'll say to each client what we'll offer a program for them. Second, we work on all our campaign management process, and that, that was for the info too, and that's very very useful because we make sure that we have our campaigns in place at the right time, at the right channel, and that we can also follow up on the consumer responses, and that way we can learn that we are giving them what they want to. And every two or three months, we also conduct some interviews with the call center and the channels in general, just to find out what the clients are saying. Okay, great, thanks. So, you know, since we're talking about integrated marketing, can, can you also speak to how you, if there were these issues that came up, how you dealt with, say, customer data ownership issues between different divisions or product groups within the bank? Uh, well, we already had a, we already had a data warehouse, so the, so the data was already in one place and was public, that was good, but we did have to manage uh, a, lot of, a lot of challenges there because what happened is that the, some areas in marketing were used to run the campaigns and decide what to say to the clients at what time. And then we came and tried to centralize everything. Right? So that was not easy at the beginning. But what we did is we showed them, well, first of all, we got uh, CEO support, which is always important. Right? But second, we showed all in both areas that we are we are actually to sell more because we were targeting the clients with the right message at the right time and even more frequently than before. And that way, everybody was going to, well, was supposed at least to win. Uh, so we implement that. We were supported uh, by the Infor2 very well. And after some months, we were able to show some good results. And that way, it's all the tension was resolved. Okay, great. 
And just to add to uh, to that a little bit, and uh, the good thing about BCP was they were really, really well prepared as to what they were going after. And as I said, you know, we did it in terms of uh, very well defined phases, and then everything started with a well defined marketing analytics initiatives, uh, so that they know what to offer and who, with the power of that pre-sorted or pre. Uh, uh, arranged uh, data warehouse uh, initiative. So once you know exactly in a marketing initiative as to what you are going to offer to who, it is it's a kind of a downstream uh, you know process after that. And Infor uh, provides a lot of uh, out of the box template based integration uh, capabilities that goes out to, to these different data sources and make it easier for. Uh, clients to uh, you know take advantage of all those data sources. Okay, great. So, could one of you speak to you know maybe an example of one of the uh, the well-defined um, strategies that was being uh, sought as part of this? You know, if, if there was a particular product marketing campaign that was involved right. that that um, can help make this tangible. That'd be oh, great. sure, of course. Um, I would say a, a well-defined strategy was to reduce. Um, the lead time of the campaigns, uh, meaning we want we were running campaigns every two or three months, and we wanted to run them every month. So that was the first objective. And the second one was we were prioritizing the campaigns uh, based on our basically on our common sense, right? And we wanted to move uh, to a model where we prioritize the campaigns based on the client preferences. And in order to do that, we developed the statistical models and that were supported also by, by Epiphany. So that, that was the case. First, we work on reducing the time cycle of the campaign, which meant a centralizing process, which meant uh, implementing the campaign management tool. And then we went to change the way we prioritize the offers to the clients. And we moved from, OK, let's offer the client whichever product we are, uh, it um, sounds better this time, from uh, two, excuse me. Uh, okay, we have this uh, list of recommendations, and let's follow them. Right. Okay, thanks. So, um, what were some of the business benefits you were able to draw out of this? Uh, well, the key benefit here is that we are selling uh, three times more than before with the direct marketing campaigns. Right before all this change. The direct marketing campaigns represented around 15% of the, our total sales, and now they represent around 40%, so almost tripled. Uh, so that was a nice benefit, and that helped us to sustain a lot of uh, credibility. Uh, we, we were able to recover the investment on less than a year, which was good for us as well. And now we are working on the call center, as Barry, as Barry said. And in the call center, we are increasing the agent productivity um, by 15 to 20 percent, which is an important number for That's for significant. Us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So um, now that you're an award winner, mm -hmm. can you speak to um, some advice and recommendations for your peers on things they should think about as they go forward with integrated marketing efforts? Oh, sure. Well, my key advice would be that uh, this is a change management process. So the key thing here is to integrate the strategy, processes, and, and technology. Uh, you need to have the right strategy in place, you know your strategy, uh, and then you need to have very clear what you want to do. When you have clear what you want to do, then it's the right time to, to bring a great tool, and the three of them then, then can help you. Because if you bring first the tool without knowing what to do, uh, that's probably a recipe of failure. Well, Benjamin and Barris, thanks so much for joining us today. No, thanks right, for having thank us. This thank is you. great, and congratulations once again. Thank you very much.